Hello everyone and welcome back to our video tutorial series for Kingdom Hearts 1. In this video, we cover the fight against Hades in the 10th seed of the Hades Cup. The Hades Cup becomes available after winning all previous cups and completing the final story episode in Hollow Bastion. It's recommended to have the party be at least level 50 before attempting the Hades Cup, though you may find it easier around level 60. Equip a high strength keychain like Oblivion, or you can boost your MP by equipping Oathkeeper. Equip accessories to Sora that prioritize MP and fire resistance, like Ifrit's Horn and Ray of Light. Equip the Guard, Leaf Bracer, and Second Chance abilities if you have them. Add Blizzard, Arrow, and Cure Magic to your shortcuts menu, and try to reach the 10th seed with as many Ethers or Elixirs as Sora can carry. Do your best to conserve your MP until this match as well. Hades starts the match by slowly floating towards Sora, emitting flames outward from his hands. Run in the opposite direction from Hades until his hands are spread apart, then jump toward him and strike with an air combo. Hades has one invisible HP bar, so if you don't see his health move when striking him, just keep at it for a while. After taking damage from two combo finishers, Hades will turn red and become invincible. He'll then say, Feel the heat! and move to the center of the arena, sending two horizontal pillars of fire rotating clockwise or counterclockwise. To avoid damage, position yourself a few steps away from Hades while locked on and follow the path of rotation. When the pillars disappear, Hades will be open to damage, so deal a full air combo before he starts to attack. When Hades tries to swipe you at close range, keep your distance by running or using a dodge roll. When he throws a large fireball, you can use guard or a well-timed attack to send it back and daze him for a short time. This is a great opportunity to heal, recast your arrow magic, or deal a few extra hits. After a while, Hades will cool down and return to his first attack phase. The only other attack to look out for is a quick finger gun attack that can hit multiple party members if they're in front of Hades. Either run to the sides or get behind Hades to avoid it. If you need to, cast arrow magic on Sora to boost his defense throughout the fight. If you have the MP and items to spare, you can alternate casting stop magic on Hades and dealing an air combo. The duration of your stop spell is calculated based on Sora's maximum MP, so if you want to use this strategy, equip a keychain and accessories that boost Sora's MP and magic power. Hades staggers to Blizzard magic, and it can deal decent damage too, but he often retaliates by swiping, so be sure to cast from a distance. And that's everything! Here are the key takeaways. Wait until Hades spreads his arms apart, then jump and strike with an air combo. Guard against fireballs to daze Hades and catch a break, and run with the rotating pillars while locked on to avoid damage. Follow these tips and tricks to win the match and make Hades the god of the blunder world. And that's the end of this tutorial. If you have any advice or tips of your own, share them with us in the comments section. If you found this video helpful, give it a like and subscribe to our channel for more content. And as always, you can find the best online walkthrough and guides to the Kingdom Hearts series at khguides.com. Thanks for watching. See you next time.